So you refreshed, refreshed, and refreshed again. And finally, you got yourself One US 7 on the S24 Ultra. You familiarize yourself with the lock screen, the new home screen, the app drawer, the notification panel, and the AI features, if you really cared about that. But here are the top five features on the S24 Ultra's One US 7 that probably missed your eye. So you like that lock screen, you probably love the home screen, you've gone through the new icons, but have you checked out the widgets yet? Well, let's start with the widgets on the lock screen and then make our move into the home screen side of things because this is probably something you did not check. Actually go to the widgets and see how many more options you have for the widgets on the lock screen now. Every app that you have widgets for then further has more types of widgets in their own little menu. These are well over double the options that you used to have before, making your lock screen widgets more useful than before. Although you are still limited to the space and amount of widgets you can use on the lock screen, but we will take the small win that we can get. Get into the widgets menu of your home screen and you will first find more apps that now give you access to their widgets. But now you have so many more options for widgets under each app, just like you did on the lock screen. Just look at how many more they are for the clock log. The fun with customizability doesn't stop there, by the way. There are different sizes for these widgets that can then be further changed when they're placed on the home screen. And they can also match the color scheme of your current wallpaper. By the way, can we also take a moment to appreciate how smooth and beautiful these widget transitions are? Going from the small to the medium to the large and switching those sides around, it is so satisfying. Now, while we're still on the home screens, let's take a moment to look at enlarged folders. You've probably seen something similar from the lines of nothing that have a folder larger than your usual folder with all the apps accessible a lot easily. And if you haven't enabled it yet and made it a part of your home screen, well then, take a look. So previously, you would have your bog standard folders on the home screen. But now, you can long press on them and press expand to have a bigger, more expanded version of the folder. You can now access the apps you see just by touching them rather than opening the entire folder first and then going into the app. If you then want to access the other apps in the folder, you can then open the entire folder thing and then access from there. Not to mention, since everything is customizable, you can still change the background of these expandable folders in the little color menu on the top right. Now, speaking of up top, Samsung's actually completely changed the way the notifications panel works. Earlier, you used to get your quick settings up top, you'd swipe further down to get access to the entire tray. But now, you have no quick settings, and if anything, you have to swipe to the other side to have access to your quick settings. Well, this change hasn't really gone down well with the Thai community, and some people may like it, others don't. But luckily, there is a way to fix it and get back to the old bit. Kinda. Swipe to go to the new quick settings panel and press the little pencil icon on the top of the page. Then head to the panel settings and change it to together. This brings back the top down row of quick settings back to your notifications panel, and then swiping further down would take you to the quick settings page again rather than just expanding that menu. Well, once again, we're just going to take the small wins, but eventually I think we're all going to get used to it. And here's a little bonus fix for you guys. Seems like Samsung's inverted the accessibility for app drawer and the notification shade. Like we just saw, the notification panel goes left to right, but your app drawer now goes up and down. Now, if you want to get that back to the way it was before, there is a way. Go into your app drawer and access the sort menu from the three dots at the bottom. Then select custom order and you can have your sliding pages back. These may not be organized for you, but you can then access the same three dot menu to clean up these pages and leave no empty space. Unfortunately, you cannot then sort them further into alphabetical order like you did with One UI 6.1. But if you do select the option for alphabetical again, it will take you back to the strollable list again. I think you've already heard of the new way to search for settings in your phone now, where you can just loosely type what you're searching for and the setting just pops up. But the one thing you might have missed in that search menu, hiding the keyboard gives you access to a lot of different categories of settings, like personalization related options, battery related settings, AI related options, and so much more. You can then tap on any one of these options and expose only and all the settings pertaining to that one category. This is such an easy way to access all the settings to do with the one thing in one place and saves you time from going all around the list over and over again. 
I think this is pretty neat, and I also think this should have always been a thing in the first place, now that I have used it. And going back to the lock screen customizability of this thing, you already know about the new animated clocks, you know about the new customization options with the clocks, but if you long press on your home screen, you can access the new option called Suggest. That will then take your lock screen wallpaper and suggest different layouts for your lock screen with the frame, color, clock, positioning of everything. By default, it will give you three options, but you can have it suggest again to give you more options and you can keep going for as long as you like. I think this is a pretty cool way to come up with inspiration, if not an entire lock screen setup for the phone and to get a fresh look on the go. Now this last one is for a pretty neat scenario. We all know that using your phone in a landscape mode, especially on the home screen and lock screen, is a pretty weird situation. Everything you have on the lock screen goes into a jumbled mess and it becomes a pain, not to mention it's also the most ugly looking thing out there. But I think we have a fix. But now Samsung has actually improved the way One UI orients into landscape mode, especially on the home screen. All your apps and widgets remain in the same place where they were initially in portrait mode, so your widgets and apps are easy to locate. You can then further customize the home screen into the settings if you want. Bear in mind, not everything is customizable in landscape and you do need to go back to portrait to get something sorted around. But the notifications and the app drawer are still accessible in the same way that they were before when the phone was in portrait mode. So that means swapping down to get the notification tray and sliding up to access the app drawer, making it easy to operate your phone in landscape orientation once again. I actually prefer this so much more to the disorienting mess it was in One UI 6.1. So that was my top 5 features of the new One US 7 on S24 Ultra that don't instantly meet your eyes, but I think are worth checking out. If there's any other list of features or any other feature in general that you think should have been spoken about in this video, or something that I maybe just wouldn't even know, make sure you share them in the comments down below so all of us could take a look at that and enjoy our One US 7s a lot more than we already are. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and also sub to the channel for more content and I will be seeing you guys later.